Now that we have a basic understanding of the template tags and components in Get Simple, we're going to take a look at themes. Now a theme is a little bit different than a template tag or just a regular template. If we take a look at some of these previous examples, we have basically one file that has all of the code in it, including all of the template tags that we're using to access the features of Get Simple. Now what makes this different between this and a theme is that a theme is usually a collection of files. So I'm going to bring in my first sample of a theme. And if I take a look in here, you'll see that I have a number of different files now. I'm going to open up all of these at once. And let's just take a look at what's going on here. The first thing that we have is our template.php file. That's the default file that is loaded. Inside of this, I have four includes for the header, the content, sidebar, and footer. Now you'll also notice that I've changed the name to include .inc.php and the reason I have that is it's a naming convention that first allows you to know that it is an include and second allows that to be hidden from the selector for templates um, in Get Simple, at least in future versions of Get Simple. Now taking a look at each of these, we'll notice that we have basically the same HTML code as we had in our original template file, but separated into all four files. And this is a very common practice. So we have the header, then we have the content, that's the content section there, then we have our sidebar with the two components, and then we have our footer with the one component. Now all of this, whoops, I'm just going to close all those pages. Now all of this gets loaded into um, Get Simple and works together as one theme. So I'll select that and activate that as the theme and you'll see that basically I have the exact same thing that I had before. The only difference is that the content is being pulled in from different files. Now the benefit of this is actually where you take this to the next level and you start making custom pages or custom sub-themes, let's call them. And I have another version of that right here. So I'm going to go inside here, and you'll see I have this one file which is different. And I've called it My Custom Page. Now, the difference here is that all the other files are exactly the same, but this one, if I take a look at it, has a little bit different. I'm bringing in the normal header here. I actually have a different content section which I'm echoing the page title as well as the um, getting the page content. Then I'm getting just the custom sidebar, not the other sidebar. There was a sidebar sidebar. Um, and then I'm getting the footer.include. So you'll notice that when I go back to Get Simple, if I select this theme, there doesn't seem to be much difference at all. By default, there is no difference at all. It, we only see the difference when we go to a different page, such as I'm going to go to page 2, and we go to our page options, and then we have the ability to pull in a, or choose a different template. Now, if we were to use one of the include files, then we really wouldn't get much because it doesn't have all the code that we need in that include file to be able to use it as a template. And in future versions of Get Simple, these will be hidden from your view because they have the .inc.php naming convention. Instead, I'm going to click on My Custom Page and save that update. Now, when I go to that page, page 2, you'll notice that I get a slightly different output. Let me uh, go to page 2 and view the source for that page. And you'll notice now I have the content wide instead of having just the regular div ID equals content. So this allows me to use some of the, the um, included pages, but also have my own particular content for this one in particular page. So that's where we're really getting into theming and having custom templates. Now, we can even take this to the next level, and we're going to do that in the next tutorial where we start to include plugins that add even more features. So let's go on.